Welcome everyone. While you're joining, some brief introductions. We've got Lucian, a sales manager from Romania, and yeah, entrepreneurial product developer on the side. This webinar is basically the extent of the support, aside from the software integration itself in the platform, in terms of getting people started, and then really it's up to them to follow their own intuitions and research and experimentations to find the result and to support each other too by the modification space on the community. The point of Node Red is that the you know, potential is infinite, basically, in the hands of a you know, the right developer and the right application. So we just give you the tools, and then it's on to all the people in the world out there to figure out how to implement it and integrate it in their own systems. So this is our presentation for today. It's about Node Red and the fact that the Node Red is part of, of the software inside of some of our GX devices newer GX devices. Topics for today, <clears throat> I'm going to start with the Node-RED introduction. Then we're going to discuss about the Victron products that are Node-RED compatible. How can you enable Node-RED on a GX device? And then few details uh, about documentation and support for, uh, for Node-RED. So let's start. What's Node-RED? This is the definition on uh, on Node-RED website. So as you can see, it's an open source programming tool, but in, yeah, in more, let's say, in a less, less complex way, Node it's a tool that allows different devices to communicate between them. And the most interesting part is that you can do that without basically knowing a programming language. You are just using your browser to edit the flow just by connecting different nodes, as you can see below. But yeah, this example below is probably not doing anything. It's just some random nodes connected together. I've selected them just because we have so many colors. <laughs> so there is not something functional in there. But as you can see, this is how you can, you can create a flow just by connecting different nodes together. And that's something that you can learn today. Then these are the Victron products that can be used for uh, Node-RED integration. So we have Serbo GX, the one on the top left, and then we have the Venus GX, Octo GX, but also some inverter chargers that contains communication. Okay, how can we enable Node-RED on a GX device? This is a GX device that it's, yeah, it's prepared for, for this webinar. So as you can see, there is no other Victron product attached to this GX device. We are connected on the IP address of the device. And now let's enable Node-RED. First thing that you have to do is to update the device to the latest firmware. And then if you go to online updates, just select the large image, check. And then we have to wait a few, I don't know, something like one minute until the large version will be installed. Until then, Guy, do we have any questions for covering this? minute until oh. this will be installed. Why a large version? Okay, Node-RED is not part of the main image for these products and probably most of the users are not using large versions. So this is what, this is just for, uh, let's say, users that want this functionality. So the reason why we should install the Node-RED functionality on products that are not using this, this feature. So if you really want to use it, then enable large, large version and you have it there. Yeah, it adds some considerable size to the download. And yeah, for all the people that have to up update their GX devices, which is hundreds of thousands of GX devices around the world, for the most part, it's totally unnecessary to have it. If they want it, they can get it. And then, yeah, there's no need to push all this data to all those people when they don't want this extra feature. Another comment there about the large file is that it does dis discern between the supported versions of the GX Venus software and the unsupported ones. So when you're running the large image, then it, you, you're unsupported. So it helps us to determine whether you're, yeah, you're running a normal version or not. If you do have issues, like it's possible to get yourself in trouble running these large versions, although it's not likely, it is possible. Then the first thing we'd recommend you do is disable all of that and go back to the normal firmware before trying to get help. Okay, yeah. this question from David, which version is the best for running? Don? Yeah, I've, I've used Node-RED on both, uh, both for Venus. Yeah. GX and a servo, um, I think you only really have trouble if you're running very complex flows. Otherwise, it probably doesn't really make a difference. Yeah. Dirk, can you answer the question regarding SSL certificate? 
Yes, as it is self-signed, it's always hard to get it in your browser to, to be accepted. You have to import it in your browser. So you have to copy a file from your FINA system to your browser. I think it's already in documented. So now our GX device was updated to the large version. Let's have a look now. If we go to settings and then we go down here to Venus OS large features. But before doing this, I'm going to show you something interesting. If we go to VRM portal, this is the device that we are connected now. As you can see here on the left side, these are the main menus. Once we enable Node Red, and let's try to refresh this. Let's try again. So in a few moments, we should have another menu here. As you can see, Venus has large features. So now we can access and control the Node-RED interface directly from, from VRM. But we can also do it from local, uh, using the local uh, IP address of the device. So as you can see, this is the address. But yeah, in my case, instead of Venus local, I'm going to use the IP address. So let's do that. It's 1881. And I think it's HTTPS if I remember correctly. And now we should be able to access, yes. And as you can see, it's starting with a welcome screen and it's guiding us to the main features of the of this Node-RED. I'm just going to close it. And basically, that's it. So now we are accessing Node-RED from, from the local IP address. But we can also do the same from here. So I'm going to right-click in this case. So it's using our proxy servers as you can see in the link above. And basically we have exactly the same thing here. If I'm gonna deploy this here and refresh the local one, as you can see, we have exactly the same thing on both links. Basically that's it from my side. One more thing that I would like to add, it's about support where you can find the support for Node-RED. So, for installation, you can check our Victron Live webpage and search for Venus OS Large. And in there, you can find all the steps necessary to install the Venus OS Large image. And then, as Guy was saying, on the community, probably on the community portal, you can find lots of questions and answers regarding Node-RED. But also, lots of Questions and answers can be found on Node-RED uh, webpage, also on their blog, and also on the last link below. Yeah, that's it from my side. I'm going to leave my colleague Dirk to explain you more about this. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all the participants. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.